the idea that I'd be working with 10 of the best actors in the country really was appealing because it, I get a lot of pleasure out of teaching improv to, to anybody. I, I really thought it would be exciting to bring these techniques to fellow actors who were very experienced. All of these people have at least 20 years experience on the stage. And, and it's not like I'm imparting wisdom to them. They already have plenty of wisdom. I'm introducing them to, to techniques and uh, experiences that can change them and, and give them even more pleasure and make them able to do things that they, they might already aspire to but are still beyond their reach and open up new, new horizons. The, the experience makes you more tuned into the other person so you listen better, you respond more, you know, you, you, you play more. There's so much wonderful play that goes on. We do this six hours a day here, and then we will sit together at meals and laugh, and uh, in a way it goes on during those, sure. those times too. But what they, eventually, what they do, what the process is, is getting the actors to pay such close attention to the other performers, the other players in the games, that they're totally focused on the rules of the game, which almost always involve observing the other person. And as a result, they're focused on somebody other than themselves. There's no self-awareness, there's no um, awkwardness about being in front of an audience. There's this group experience that they're having that is very engaging to when, 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 when two actors or five actors are on stage and they're all totally enmeshed with one another's um, performance. The audience finds it very hard not to pay close attention to that. It's, but you can't do this without, without facing that, that uh, dark unknown and the more you are able to welcome it, the happier life gets, because it doesn't get better be if you control it and make it, make it what you want it to be. It's still going to be reality. It's water is an interesting metaphor for reality, because it's, it seems so benign on a hot day when you drink a glass of it, but when it comes rushing down the street in a, in a torrent, it's not so benign. But this is a beautiful part of nature, this, where we are here at Ten Chimneys. I was thinking a few minutes ago, I was in this room that they used as a studio, and I was thinking um, this was their place, this was the, these were the wooden walls they looked at, the paintings they had on the wall. And I had, a, I had a mixture of feelings. One was these actors devoted their lives to their work, to the theater, to making a theatrical experience. And they passed through, and now they're gone. And we're passing through now, and we're using this property that they created, that they lived in, worked in, and we'll make as much of this time as we can the same way they did, and then we'll be gone. <laughs>